Welcome. In this video I'm going to talk about batch renaming files on a Mac using the Finder. So the first thing I need is a bunch of images to rename. So I have this images folder here. It's empty. I'm going to copy in this reflections.jpg. Now typically you would have a bunch of different files, but I can do an example here with just one file. I'll duplicate it many times. I'll do command D and it will duplicate it. I'll hit command A to select it all. I'll duplicate it again. Select A. D. I'll go back between Command A and Command D, and pretty soon here we'll have a lot of files. Okay, so we have 128 files now, just like that. So I can select all these files, and then I can either hit Control and click my mouse, or I can right click on my mouse, depending on what kind of mouse you have and how you're set up. Next, you want to go down here to rename 128 items. And you have this little utility here. We have a couple choices. We have replace text, add text, and format. So I'll start with format here. You have name format. It says name and index. And down here under example, you can see what it's going to look like. So we have the custom format. It starts with file. And then we have number one. And then we can go to name and counter. So now we have file and then 00001. And then name and date. Then over here on the right, we have where. We have after name or before name. So we can put the number first or second, and then we have number start at one. So if you already have a series and you're adding to that series, you can do a starting number here. So I'll hit rename here, and we have this file one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way down to 128. So I'll go back to that. Let's change this to name and counter. And there we have the zeros in there. I think that's a little easier to read with the zeros. Let's rename again. And we'll go name and date. So now we have the date tagged on here. But the date is the same for all these files. So it ends up putting like an index file on the end of it anyway. So let's go back to name and counter, and then we'll do before the name, and we'll start at uh, 7, 1700. So here we've renamed all the files starting at 1700. We can also go in here and say add text. So we can add, say, photo underscore before the name. We can also do it after. So I'll hit rename here. We can add text after. And then we can do replace text. So we have that word file in there. It doesn't look great. So we can just take that and find and say replace with nothing. And that will take that out of there. So let's say we don't want this .jpg and we want to make it say .jpg. So we can do dot jpg and then dot jpeg and then I'll hit rename there we go and say you want say you want that all capital you could say dot jpeg and then dot jpeg capital and so now here we have a new extension on here now you could change this to dot png but that would screw things up um, it wouldn't work anymore Ooh. I accidentally just drug that to my desktop. <laughs> I can do undo though, I hope. There we go. So as you can see, there's a very powerful renaming tool built right into the Finder on a Mac. So while you can undo these things, it's not a bad idea to have a backup of your files before you do any mass renaming because anytime you do a batch process on a computer, there's a chance that you can screw up things very quickly. Um, if you're you know, altering 128 files at one time, if you make a mistake, it's magnified 128 times. <laughs> so it's good to work on a backup. And the reason you might want to use this is if you have, say, photos coming in from different cameras and you want to sequence them or name them all the same, um, there's all sorts of reasons why you might want to do this. But if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.